My name is Stephanie Graff, and here is my final for ECN 160. Here is my complete microprocessor. So I have my clock and my clear button, which runs into the counter, which then runs into my programmable ROM, which from there will split into two different directions. The top side will carry the instructions to the instruction decoder, and the bottom side will pull the number into this multiplexer. Well, the numbers I want into the multiplexer. The multiplexer is selecting between the number provided and the number that comes out from the arithmetic logic unit right here. And then it feeds into the register file. The register file right here <clears throat> is two 4 bit registers and will select which register gets written to. There's the two 4 bit registers, which I have here. The 4 bit registers are made out of individual 1 bit registers. And here's my 1 bit register, which is just a simple multiplexer and a uh, flip flop. <clears throat> There we go, and there's where the register file is, which holds the two numbers that we want it to, and those two numbers feed out to where the text gets displayed, down here, and into the ALU. Let's go to the ALU. The ALU has two 4-bit numbers feeding in. And then we have the adder, or, and an exclusive. There's my bitwise exclusive or, my bitwise or, my bitwise, bitwise and, and now we go to the adder. <clears throat> this is where I do the adding and subtracting, and what I did to change this adder into a subtractor is I added this sub input pin and the exclusive or gates down here. When the sub is made to a 1 or a positive value right here, we see that positive value now gets carried right into here into the first one, the adder, which is the plus one that we need for the two's complement when we're inverting a number. The one from the sub is also going down here to the exclusive OR gates, which inverts the input and allows for a negative number. Here's my one bit adder. Pretty simple. Back to the ALU. These numbers then go to the ALU, where the accumulator, right here, which is another one of the four bit registers, which I showed before. From there, the ALU outputs the, or feeds the next numbers up through here, and if I'd like, I can choose to compound that number with additional math. <clears throat> I have these here, the two register zero, register one, the data in, and the accumulator, just so I can see what was going on so I could fix the bugs. It really helped out because you can't really tell what number is being passed. So let me quickly start the simulation. And as we see, it's going through the programmable ROM. And it's out printing here. Oops. And there we can see it's working correctly, thank goodness. And that is my final. Thank you so much for the time.